One of the best ways to catch steelhead once they enter the rivers is to drift fish for them using a float in either spawn sacks or flies or artificial eggs. To do that, you have to have the right float. Now what I'm holding up here are two clear floats. These are made out of plastic, but they're very different. The float in my left hand is designed to attach permanently to your line by using the surgical tubing that's on the top and the bottom. So this float is ideal if you're fishing in water less than 10 feet deep. If you're fishing though like the Niagara River, where you may be using a lead anywhere from eight to 12 feet below your float, if you attach your line permanently, it's gonna, the line is gonna fall down on the shore. It's gonna be very hard for you to cast. So that's where you need a slip bobber. Now you'll notice that this float, even though they look similar, is quite different. It doesn't have a mast at the top and it doesn't have a shaft on the bottom, but it does have a tube running down the center of it. And if I turn it, you can see that there's a hole at one end and the other end. So this float is designed to have the line go through it. And the only way you determine where it stops is by having a bobber stop in the line. Now the advantage to doing that is that you have an unlimited depth range that you can set the float at. Whenever you go to cast, you reel the bobber stop into your reel and the float goes down to your first sinker and then you can fire it out. So if you're fishing deep water like the Niagara River, using a slip bobber is one of the best ways to make that drifting presentation.